Whether you are using a landing page on a website or to sell a product or services from an ad, it's super important that you follow a set of rules or guidelines to ensure a high conversion rate. So in this video, I'm going to show you the seven basic things that you need to have on your landing page in order for it to be effective. Let's go. Building a landing page can take a lot of time and money, so it's really important that we get it right. Because it doesn't matter how great your product or service is, if people don't convert on your landing page, well, that's bad news. So let's start with the first basic element of a landing page and keep your ad and your landing page consistent. If you're running an ad on Google or Facebook to your landing page, make sure that your landing page is 100% consistent with the ad. Even the slightest of differences can turn a potential buyer away. For example, the font and the images you use on the ad need to be the same on the landing page. So if your ad is using blue tones, then your landing page needs to be using the same color palette. A lack of consistency in the look and feel will be enough for a whole bunch of potential buyers to leave and not convert. So make sure that the fonts, the colors, and the images are 100% consistent on the ad and your landing page. Moving on to the second thing is create a killer headline. An estimated eight out of 10 people will read the headline first within that crucial three to five second of the initial visit. To be effective, your headline needs to answer one of these two questions. Number one, how are you solving my problem? And number two, how are you making my life better? For accounting services, for example, a bad headline would be, affordable accounting services. First, I already know that accounting is what you do, so that doesn't help. And affordable assumes that I'm looking for cheap. And guess what? My last accountant was cheap, and this is why I'm looking for a new accountant. A better headline would be, pay less taxes, which obviously solves my initial problem and is making my life better. Next thing you need to have in your landing page is a compelling call to action. Submit, download, and get started is not a compelling call to action. Sounds like you're bossing me around to tell you the truth. Instead of download now, try something like download your free ebook. It's not anybody's ebook, it's your ebook, and it feels a lot more warm and fuzzy. Next thing you need to do to improve your landing pages, write your copy like you talk. I see way too many pages using salesy or marketees language. Look, you're not fooling anybody with for a limited time only with a countdown clock underneath it. You wouldn't speak to someone like that at a networking event. Would you talk to a friend like that? I don't think so. And we all know that you'll sell this to us as long as we're willing to buy it. So write your copy like you're writing to a friend. You wouldn't try to trick and use big marketing words with a friend. Not really. Next is make your forms simple and easy. If all you really need to capture is an email address, then that should be the only field on that form. Because best practice with forms is less is more. The less you ask, the more you will convert. And if you need a name, don't ask for first and last name. Just ask for the name. You will convert more people like that. Six, focus on the benefits, not the features. People buy products and services to fix a problem. While features sound good on paper, they do very little to convert. The fact that your widget has the most bandwidth on the market is very nice. But unless you can explain how that will make my life better, well, then it's just a feature. Nobody cares that your beer has a 4.2% ABV, whatever that is. What matters to me is that I can drink your beer and still maintain a low carb diet. That's how it's making my life better. And last thing you need to do on your landing page to improve the effectiveness is test everything. Something that I've learned with working with some of the most talented marketers is that everything that I taught you today are guidelines to narrow the fields. But which headline, call to action, pictures, and copy will work best 
is a guess. Like download your ebook versus download my ebook. Which one will work better? I don't know yet, but I'm gonna test it and find out. Same with headlines. Pay less taxes versus keep more profits. I would test those two and let the conversion rate tell me the truth. And I strongly recommend that you use a system to do A and B testing on all your landing pages. A and B testing is where you're going to be testing a specific element of your landing page for seven days with version A and another seven days with version B. And at the end of 14 days, you look and say which one performed best and that's your winner. Now it's super important that you only test one thing at a time. Test your CTA first, then test the headline, then test the color, and then test the copy and see which one is working best each and every single time. Thank you so much for watching. Now I would recommend that you watch this video next. Please make sure to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up before you go and until next time, ciao.